What's up guys, Chaos here, bringing you guys another video. Now, I know what you're gonna say, you see these cribs back here. No, they're not for my kids, it's my brother's family, so don't say anything about it. No, I'm just kidding. I appreciate y'all coming through the video, man. This game that happened, it was a crazy game in Weekend League, man, you guys had to see it. Really awesome game, I had to come back. We'll see if, we pull, if I can pull it out, who knows, but if you guys are new, make sure you guys hit the sub button. If you guys are returners, make sure you guys hit that notification button. Make sure you guys aren't missing any videos. And all of you guys, I love you all. Please continue to hit the like button the way that you guys had to. I really appreciate y'all. Now let's get into this video. All right, man. So y'all see it. It's weekend league. You know the teams are going to be stacked. That's his right there. He's got some route chems. Shows he probably knows a little bit about what he's doing, at least. And you see my team right there. Now this game, it wasn't against the best opponent. Not all my YouTube videos are always going to be against top-notch top uh, players. But I'll tell you right now, the dude gave me some trouble. And you guys can see it all early on the first play. Dude dotted me. It was an awesome game. I did ha I did get down a little bit. You're going to see it. But I do have to come back. But let's just jump into it. As always, man, first drive, it's a feel-out drive. Never know what he's going to want to do. Uh, especially when it's somebody that I don't know or play a lot or it's like a top player that they come out in bunch or whatever I don't really know what they want to do. So I'm feeling them out. I'm seeing what his go-to plays are and From there we usually can adjust right there We should have had a pick which would have made up for all the mis like the mistake we had early in the game to let him get downfield But we swat it Unlucky he goes to the wildcat now this wildcat I had it bagged early But you're gonna see it does give me a little bit of trouble later on fourth and five he goes back to it and we stand him up. That was a pretty lucky animation for me. I'm not going to lie. Usually I feel like Adrian Peterson is going to fall forward right there. However, he doesn't. And with that, we stop him and we get a great animation. Now, as you guys can see, I was showing my stream. I was showing a little laser I could do. Four verticals, stock, just max pro. I could playmaker that guy back. I wanted to show everybody that. I thought it was pretty funny. Um, I just want to show you guys. I just want to show my stream. and I thought it was pretty cool. So I went to it early. Uh, next play, we try to beat him deep, try to get him on a cover three beater, nothing doing for us. Next play here, we miss our table route early, probably because they picked up five to six, but we're going to hit our backside in route. Just like with the defensive side of the ball, the offensive side is the same too. I'm trying to get a feel for what he likes to do. Missing my drag right there. Got to make reads, didn't make my read right there. Um, something I have a, a tendency of doing, uh, only in that play, usually when I have a drag on the field, it's, it's going to be my first hot read if they blitz. But on PA counter go, I usually don't hit the tight end. I don't know why I don't do that. It's almost as, a, as if I assume that it's not going to be open. I don't know why, but when I do that, it puts me in some trouble. I missed that drag. I got a sack, and then we ended up turning the ball over and down because of that sack. So that kind of ended the drive, and it didn't work out well for us. Right there, he thought, I think it was right at me. I think maybe I clicked on and pulled him behind, or maybe the game pulled him behind on the, on the aggressive animation. I don't know, but... Fact of the matter is, he gets a touchdown on it, guys. So we're down 7 0. The stop we got early on was negated by getting stopped ourselves. And he sent me with a lot of cover zero. Now, something I did notice on PA, he was getting this weird, like, A gap animation from his DT. And it was pretty much any time I ran PA and I kept it. So I had to I had to stop using it because. And I, I used it a few more times, but I hadn't noticed it yet at this point. But you're going to see where I stopped doing it because it was literally like causing a perfect a gap for him i don't know what he was doing i don't know if he even knew he what he was doing but it was working really well for him so definitely had to cut that out nice little play there see as you as right there the drag was wide open and that's and i knew it was gonna be wide open so i knew to take it with pa counter go early in the year i took my drag every time there was nothing else open i took my drag i need to get back to doing that if i'm gonna be great right there it looked like odell had to step on him I'm gonna play that one-on-one -on -one with a step every time with Odell. Odell Beckham is the best card in this game. He's so good. He catches everything for me. And I'm gonna take that every time. Right there, as you guys can see, I told you, we had that Wildcat box up early, but it started to give me a little trouble. I don't know what he did differently to, to start getting a, a decent like blocking scheme for me, but definitely started giving me a little trouble. Right there, we get a nice block shed, able to lock up his run off that. It's always nice when you don't have to do any work against the run and your defensive line gets off the block for you right here back to the wildcat we go you see he had a little bit of space there we're lucky we're luckily get a tackle there to stop him for just six because he definitely had a, a gap to the end zone right there so get a little nervous about this wildcat i'm gonna start manning some people up as you guys know when i want to stop the run and i'm not doing a good job start manning up everybody they play the run fits better always the tip i like to give you guys 
right there we have a shaded down vert hook i don't know what that was that caused my vert hook to not play that but unfortunate first down to give up on fourth and three back to the back to the defense we go man we're trying to lock up here we're trying to do the best we can we need to get off the field it is our ball at half so if we can get a stop we'll be in great shape arguably could have been a pick right there but i'm not going to complain about that one because last time it was a touchdown so right there didn't expect the post but we just happened to be running back there when i didn't see i didn't see anything coming across the middle so i was kind of just lurking around able to pull off a hit stick and we hold him to three so not not the end of the world but uh not a full stop so it's not what we wanted as you saw there another play where the where the dt just comes screaming in now he doesn't sack me but it's like super scary and he gets to a really good block uh block shit animation right there i take my drag that's what i need to do before man if your drags are open guys don't wait on a 70 yard route if your drag's wide open unless you see you have perfect blocking and you know you're gonna have time don't wait on it there's no reason to do that just take your free yards and go on to uh, fight another day but we're continuing to move the ball we're doing a really really good job right here i thought we caught him lacking but we just couldn't get over the top i don't know how he came all the way across the field on 99 speed but is what it is now i did see he was in cover zero i tried to use my wheel to beat him deep another mistake by me take another sack so instead of having almost a guaranteed three we put ourselves in a tough spot and we throw an incompletion probably should have been a pick but fourth and 22 is pretty much going to be a loss of down anyways you're not going to pick this up very often but it's really just it's a tough spot right now guys i'm not going to lie to you twice we were in a perfect position to get points and we took long sacks and long sacks especially in mutt make it really difficult to convert downs just because the defenses are so good now we absolutely can't give up points before halftime but i'm thinking more into the second half now and i'm thinking to myself we better go find a way to get seven because this guy's actually playing pretty good defense against me i'm not gonna lie to you he's actually playing pretty decent defense on me his guys that he's manning up are literally sticking to my routes like glue and from that he's just able to do whatever he wants with me really just simply because um that's time to be nab breaks three tackles um he's able to just kind of play coverage and man everybody up and there's nothing i can really do because my guys aren't getting open but right there you guys can see it rewind the video i'm begging you guys to rewind the video i tackled him with one second on the clock and they ran it off on a fourth down how does that make any sense the clock stops when you get a uh, change of possession so they could they could they, they definitely cheated me on three points right there but as y'all can see man first play of the half he user rushes me second play of the half we get rocked and we fumble man so i'm already pissed off about the one second left that they cheated me out of then he user rushes me and gets a sack then we make a good read and we fumble so not a great three play sequence i if you ask me um but we're gonna have to fight man whatever happens here stop score whatever we're gonna have to fight so we force a fourth and five and we make them settle for three so restart the the half speech like I said, we, we were holding three, so now we absolutely have to go get seven. We gotta find a way to put something together. And we miss our table route right there. We play make our in route, and he's naked, and Vic under throws him now. I have no idea how that happened. I have the best Vic. He is powered to the max. 99 throw, I don't know, man. 99 throw power. Somehow, some way, he under throws a wide open ball. You guys can rewind it. He went past his own. It was perfect i don't know it was a perfect play to me i even on second glance i just really feel like he was wide open but just another series of unfortunate events man we're gonna put ourselves in a tough hole and it's it's not easy to climb out of holes especially in mutt when you got a guy chewing clock and he likes wildcat and right there he throws a touchdown now i'm probably thinking to myself i'm done i'm dead in the water in this game boys it's 21 to 7 and I haven't gotten a lick going on offense, man. I haven't thrown a good ball in, since the first quarter. It's been rough. I mean, as you can see, this man-to-man -man is just holding to my guys, dude. It's like adhesive tape with special sticky on it. Like, nothing's going on for me. Right there, he does give me my outside fade against cover two. That was big. Just get something going. When you're, when you're in a struggle on offense, guys, and you're not playing well, just figure out something, like, you just got to grind it you know what i mean just get a couple dots going just grind it and then maybe the offense will open up as you can see i expected him to use a rush there he did 
and I was able to hit my table route. So just, I did pick up. So something I picked up on. I, I meant to tell you guys this. I noticed when he was user rushing right after that play that he, when it's on he when it's when he's on the left linebacker. So anytime he's on the left linebacker, I'm expecting him to user rush me, and that's that's side marked in my head. If he uses anyone else, which he did switch around. So right now I know he's not user rushing with that right linebacker. When he was on the left, I was ready for it because it was only when he was on the left of screen that he did it. And as you can see, I knew he wasn't coming. I drew up a dot, and we moved the chains, baby. So we're in the end zone. We cut it to 2014, and the most important thing about it, we did it really quickly. So we have to get another stop and another score. So we got to put something together, man. We, we've we played okay on defense. We really have. We've given them a lot of free points by playing really bad on offense. So I'm not too worried about getting the stop right here. And we'll just figure it out when we get when we get the ball back. Big time sack there. He should have thrown it away. Didn't. Takes a huge sack. And right there, he actually had a huge gap. I got really, really fortunate. I was able to click onto the outside corner and spit back and make the tackle. I call it a little sticky. If I'm gonna be cocky, a little bit, a little arrogant. Nah, I don't like to be arrogant, but it actually was a really good play just to click onto the outside guy, pull him back, and somehow make that tackle. It was a good play, but it was also fortunate simply because. They'll, they'll just rope you into a block sometimes. So we get off the field. Now we gotta go get seven again. Right here, I try to go to my wheel route to try to uh, beat him deep. Nothing doing. Stuck like glue. I think it was Dion on the wheel route there, so I'm not gonna complain about that. Next play here, we go to PA slot corner, and we got it just barely. Calvin Johnson finally found a way to get open for me. And as you guys see, my passing stats aren't great. 14 to 23. I think I had a pick, so. Not going great for me, but we'll figure it out. Right there, nice little laser with X-Spot. Fitting it in before the sidelines. And I told you guys, when you're not feeling great on offense, you're struggling a little bit, just start finding your rhythm. Just start finding your rhythm. Just start finding your rhythm. And all of a sudden, the dots start opening up for you, man. And we throw another laser, and it's 21 to 21. And you know what happens when you tie it up when you were down 14? That man starts sweating like he's Joe Frazier in a Muhammad Ali fight. That man is drenched. He's super scared right now because he was up 21-7. He thought this game was cooked to the max. And now he's in a Snuggie. And he's going to try to get out of it. Third and 10 here. Big play for us. We have to find a way to get off the field. If we get off the field, there's no way that we don't win this game. We force a fourth and 10. He brings out the boot. I believe. Does he fake this? He might fake this, actually. He does. This guy's a madman. That's how you know. He knew this game was in trouble because he faked the field goal. All we got to do is get one first down, and this game is over, boys. Way to fight through it. It was a crazy game, man. I just keep telling you guys, if you're if you're not playing well, just start, just grind it out. Find a couple dots. Make a couple things happen for you. I know it's easier said than done, but once you start to dot a little bit, they start sweating a little bit. They start over-adjusting a little bit. You start figuring it out, and you start to get more dots, and more stuff starts to open up, and you start to get your deeper routes, your crossers, your corners, your posts. But we ended up not getting a first down. He had a nice little user rush right there, whatever it may be. I had no problem kicking him the ball back. You guys saw the last two possessions. He couldn't move a lick. So I'm cool with taking my three. He's got one timeout. We're just going to ta make tackles, keep him in front of us, and try, to, and try to make sure this game ends right here up three. So... Here we go. He comes out in this in this ace, uh, single back ace slot again, which he hasn't had much success with, but uh, he does get a dot underneath. Good dot by him. That's that's more on a user by on my part, me trying to make sure he doesn't get anything deep and just kind of giving him that. Uh, obviously, you don't want to give him an open dot, but you also don't want to give him anything deep. So that's just me being a little bit conservative right there. Next play here, third and twelve. Huge play for him. He needs about five yards. We send the monsters at him. He needed about five yards for field goal range, but he didn't have any timeouts. So I just sent the whole mob at him. I covered the sidelines. He holds his PA, takes the sack, and we got him up and out of there, guys. I know it wasn't the best competition. That guy definitely was not the best player. He wasn't the worst player by any means. He definitely had, knew a little bit. He obviously was user rushing. His man-to-man -man play well. You see me dancing a little bit, but... I mean, the fact of the matter is, guys, you don't always play your best games against the, the the worst, not the worst competition, but not against the best competition. You always bring out your best game. It's not easy to be motivated. You're in weekend league. It's a long grind. You don't always give your best game, but you got to come out on top. You got to fight. And that's what we're able to do. I hope you guys enjoy. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Take it easy, man.